oh my God, you guys got to check out this awesome virtual reality studio. This is crazy. Hollywood is burning right now, but we're building. Hey, what's going on? It's Boombox Head here inside the virtual reality studio, Nifty Studio. You guys won't believe what I got to show you, man. Come check this out. So, man, what we got in here is crazy. So, right now, Hollywood is shut down. No one's doing any productions. And we're inside virtual reality right now with all the tools, cameras, lights, green screens, white screens. We got everything we need to do a whole complete production right here at the cost of a computer and a virtual reality headset. So what's crazy about this is we could, you know, composite and do all kinds of virtual productions and virtual effects that, you know, haven't even been thought of yet as a virtual avatar composed onto traditional footage, 3D footage, or any kind of uh, footage you can imagine. The photo studio is really cool because we have real-time lights and these real-time lights can be changed to different colors and they can be moved around, they have shadows, and um, this is a good way to test, you know, avatars. We also do photo shoots in here, and we shot music videos in here, and real-time production is really making it easier for people to iterate their shots and go from pre-visualization all the way to final product really quickly. So we use these uh, screens to composite shots, uh, to isolate the actors, and to do all kinds of cool stuff. But you can also animate cameras, and you can do things like customizing your camera with depth of field and going all the way, you know, and fully customizing your production. It's really cool that we have these uh, video panels just like in real life because these video panels give our engineers and our operators a view of what we're working on. And these video panels are basically a render texture that's showing the, what the camera sees. So the way that we film all this stuff is we go into OBS and we film the output of our cameras. I can change the different cameras right now to different camera angles and jump around the studio, including video overlays and media. So here's a shot of the, here's a panorama of the studio right now. So we're over there by the white screen and the camera is animating by the stage. So if I jump back to my camera here, this is our camera handheld camera on camera one and Jin is shooting from a personal avatar camera built into the program that we're using. All these cameras are hooked up down the line into a camera monitor system so that we can see what we're doing. And um, we film that with OBS to a computer using uh, video capture software. The audio you hear right now is going through Discord and we're using um, audio equipment like a condenser microphone and to, to get the best audio po possible. Green screens, green screens, green screens are crazy, man. You could be anywhere, anything, any avatar you want to be, right? Check it out. Right now I'm on a green screen. Now I'm in crypto boxes. Now I'm in a desert. <laughs> now I'm next to Elon Musk. <laughs> What's up, Elon? All right, check it out. Inside virtual reality, we have crazy control systems that we can make. We basically have unlimited UI, and we can set up any type of structure, sequence, animation, trigger. Some of the tools we have is a, a nine camera system with some overlays, and I'm gonna show you how that works right now. Uh, okay, so we have um, nine different camera angles. So these camera angles are all set up to be uh, moving. That's us over there. Uh, there's some orbiting cameras, a couple cameras and dollies, and we can also switch to the video since we have a media player. And the media player down here can load any video URL and that plays on the screen over there on stage. And we can uh, cut to that for our output. Uh, we have a lot of tools. We have colored screens. So we have, we have green screen that we can load up if we would need to. Green screen for, say, replacing backgrounds and doing compositing. And if we need real-time lights, we can actually change the lights we want to use over here. So these, these lights are all real-time lights. So if you're interested in actually doing a real-time uh, photo shoot or something with real-time lights, we could do something like that. But mainly um, inside gaming programs, we bake the lights and set up a lot of these rooms with baked lights for optimization. Optimization for, say, Quest users, mobile users, and people that need to get inside these rooms that don't have, say, a really good computer. Because these lights, particularly the real-time lights, are intensive on the computer. And then uh, we have something called this overlay system. Basically, you can change between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 12 slides. And what we can do with that is, is basically uh, put media 
overlay right on top of the screen. So say we're gonna load content for a guest, we're gonna load a video or something like that. We can easily swap, you know, between video, uh, camera angles, as well as the overlay system. So it's a system that gives us a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of control. We can load videos. We can also load, you know, pictures, slides, presentations. And in this case, this studio is designed to just basically load uh, video and and uh, picture media, or GIFs, or even external feeds like websites, or or anything. Basically, anything you can put on a screen, we can bring inside here. So what's crazy, inside virtual reality, you could do everything you could do pretty much in reality, except it's virtualized. What I mean by that is we have a game engine, we render all of our elements, assets, and scenes, environments, real time. So inside this studio, we have all kinds of cool tools, right? We have screens, we have camera equipment, and in this particular setup, we have um, nine different cameras. Some of them are animated on tracks, and some of them are, are steady cam. And this particular studio is set up to be a live, real-time news studio for Nifties. What we're doing inside this studio is bringing in artists and different uh, guests to talk about the Bitcoin and Ethereum and blockchain community and all types of integrations between virtual reality, gaming, and blockchain. Also, we got video players and we're able to play videos and play media from external content here and use this as a real-time studio just as if you'd see a late night TV show, a podcast, or any type of uh, production that you normally see. Um, so the reason why the reason why we make it look like a studio and not just have it say, you know, in space or something or maybe just completely virtual is because we want people to feel comfortable and notice and use the tools that they're normally um, acclimated with. We want them to, you know, see the cameras that they know how to use. We have cameras that could be handheld cameras on tracks and we could also basically model any type of cameras including cameras that couldn't even be invented inside real life. We have basically, uh, this is a handheld camera, right? And it's got depth of field on it. And here's our video panel, just as you would in, in a real studio. We can design animated camera tracks, have cameras in handheld, we can have uh, stable cams, and we can do basically all the above. It's just up to your imagination on what kind of camera shots you can do inside virtual reality. And the best thing is you don't need to have any major heavy camera equipment, which is also a safety hazard. And here, you know, you can have uh, people flying around basically and no one's gonna get hurt since it's virtual reality. Man, virtual reality is crazy. Virtual production is a brand new frontier. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in, man. Like, we're in some crazy times right now and the production industry is completely changing. Virtual reality gives us the ability to get together remotely and continue production when otherwise we wouldn't be able to right now. If you guys wanna learn more about this, make sure to hit us up on Twitter, hit us up online, and we'll be glad to bring you in and show you a tour. If you'd like to do a production, you know who to call, man. Boomboxhead, DankVR, Nifties.com. Hit us up, man. Much love.